My name is Mira Momčičević. We're all excited tonight. We are at the opening night of Tesla here in New York. Follow me. So I thought, how can this problem be solved? You come up with an answer? Yes. You did, huh? Alternating current. I, I designed a whole system. <coughs> a transformer. See? It uses a step-down process to carry current over distance. It steps down. You mean uh, to a lower voltage? Yes. Uh -huh. With us tonight, our young Tesla. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, obviously, it's our, it's our first opening night, so it's, it's you know it's it's a big yeah, it's so scary, but it was great. Um, I loved every second of it. Um, it's been the whole last four months learning about Nikola Tesla and doing the work and going to Belgrade and and the research and the, and the love and the thought that's gone into this. And obviously, with Sanya guiding me, um, who's been uh, such a big figure in my life over the last four months to get me to this point of today on stage. Um, I'm over the moon. I'm delighted. I hope I, hope I brought Nikola Tesla to life for everyone here tonight. Um, I know we're sold out for the rest of the run, so it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. I'm, 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 I'm over the moon. I'm overjoyed. Yeah, I'm a friend of James who's playing the lead role. And I'm just so glad that the word of Tesla's coming out in such a public forum that it's out on the stage. Now, I've been a fan of Tesla for many years, and I was researching him about seven years ago. And I got frustrated at all the things that he'd done that hadn't come out and that had been repressed. So it was wonderful to witness, you know, in a, as entertainment, the story being told. And I thought what was excellent was the factual information that came over. So it wasn't just comedy, it wasn't just about a play. It was really trying to get all the information over and it was cleverly done with just six, seven cast as well. With the exception of Westinghouse, none of your work is yet to show from. Speaking of which, what do you think of this? We're about to install an electrified subway system right here in New York City. Um, an excellent idea, but how Using your patents. Westinghouse. Oh, you didn't know that Westinghouse and General Electric are working together on this. My system's being used by General Electric? Yes. You mean the New Yorkers can finally get to work on time. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Tesla. How hard was to put all the pieces from his uh, mysterious life, actually? It was so hard. <laughs> It was so hard. I mean, Tesla lived 15, 20 lives in one life. And so what was hard was to choose what to keep and to try and make a story that was narratively interesting. So did you know that uh, Marconi used 17 of Tesla's patents? I did. Um, a week and a half ago when I got this part, I went and very quickly researched as much as I can. Uh, about Marconi and I learned that and I you know I think to be able to do a role like this to do a villain even though I'm you know using his ideas I still have to believe that I'm right <laughs> let the record the show that Guglielmo Marconi was the first to send a signal in across the Atlantic Ocean <laughs> when JP Morgan came in, I got angry. He played it very well. He did a good performance, but I didn't like the guy at all. Um, and it just reminds me what an influence the banking institution has had on invention and progress. The biggest uh, influence that was helpful for me in connecting with the character came from Sonia when she had said that the play is based on all of these characters being the memory of old Tesla. So she kept encouraging me to play it larger, play it bigger. And at one point, I think one of us had mentioned the idea of like a comic book super villain. And that was where a lot of the impetus came to just play him large, play him almost almost like a spoiled child as well. It's, it's, it's all about what he wants. And what he wants, he gets, one way or the other. So, 51% of the patents. You said 51% of the stuff. No, 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 the patents. That's not what you said, sir. Plus the lighting. But that's... In or out, Mr. Tesla. In or out. Good. I'll have my secretary draw up the paperwork, and they will communicate with you from here on out. Congratulations, Tesla. You're a man with credit again. <laughs> So you play perhaps the biggest mystery in Tesla's life, the only lady he was connected to. How did you decide what you're going to actually put in the play? 
when you think about two people like Tesla and Catherine, I think uh, every time right before I walk on stage, I just ask to have as much love as I've ever had for anybody in the world to come out with me, so I can give that to him because because they never got to be together. All they had was this intense love, and it's bigger than getting to fulfill it. It's like it's it's a divine love. You tonight show us a couple of scenes with Catherine Jones, and she's perhaps the biggest mystery in Tesla's life. How would you work on that? Well, uh, at school we used to call that sense memory or imaginative memory. I had some love interests in my life before, me as Jack, so I try to use uh, some love that I couldn't have. So, And I try to project that at Catherine because uh, Tesla officially never was with her. So uh, we as men sometimes, we cannot have every woman and I'm one of them. So. I just used the one lady that I didn't have in my life, so don't tell my girlfriend, she's outside, okay? Oh, it's wonderful work. I hope uh, this uh, same play is going to be in Belgrade and in other uh, uh, countries. The casting crew were absolutely amazing. We would love to have them participate in our Tesla Day in uh, Philadelphia in July, and hopefully they'll be able to join us. Pa, ne znam što da vam kažem, sam se strašno uzbuđena jer smo imali ipak divnu publiku koja nas je podržala toliko, puno ljudi koji nisu očekivali da će ovako nešto baš da vide starog i mladog Tesla u isto vreme. Mislim da smo negde obradili dobar deo njegovog života u Americi i da smo pokušali najbitnije stvari da pokažemo svetu koliko je on u stvari negde zaboravljen i koliko je nepravde učinjeno Tesla zato što je bio užasno dobar i bavio se pre svega svojom umetnošću, to je s naukom. Drago mi je da sam posvetila sve ovo vreme jednoj divnoj inspiraciji. Tesla je zaista inspiracija kao emigrant, kao umetnik, kao naučnik i ovo je samo početak kako smo odlučili ovu godinu da posvetimo njemu u njoj. Could audience in Belgrade be the next one to see this play? I hope so! That would be so great! That would be, that would be such an honor.